eat when you are hungry then last thing is what about water because lot of people are worried about drinking water i see people carrying bottles of water with them and drinking every now and then because they are told that you should drink too much there is no limit for water when you want when you are thirsty you drink if you are not thirsty don't drink you don't have to drink a particular amount of water some people say if you must have two liters of water a day you must have three liters of water a day that the actor a friend of mine who keeps bottles filled with water saying that i must finish it by evening there's nothing like that you drink as much as you want but if you are very funny if you fussy about it and you want to know exactly how much water you drink you can roughly take about 30 ml of water per kilogram body weight supposing as 60 kilos and you take about 2 liters you are fine so 30 ml of water per kilogram body weight is a rough estimate of the body you are requiring water otherwise you don't take unnecessary too much water because if you take drink too much water you have to visit the toilet very often and if you drink water at night <coughs> too much you can't sleep because you keep on getting up and going to the toilet for passing urine so you try to cut down your water intake of 12 or noon and after dinner when the night take minimum amount of water early in the evening and don't take at night too much water because it keeps you going to the toilet now and then and disturbs your sleep A lot of people get sleep disturbance. They come to the doctor and they ask for sleep pills, and the doctor prescribes sleep pills. Or they they just take sleep pills. But the fact is, sleep pills are not needed. They have been drinking too much water and getting up in the night to pass water now and then. So you must know how much water to drink. Now about the other things. What about fruits? Yes, fruits are good, but not in you know not associated with the food. You should not have a meal and then fruit together. You must always keep a cap, and the fruits are better eaten in between meals. Like for example, you have a breakfast at about eight o'clock, fruit at about ten thirty, lunch at about twelve, and fruit again at three o'clock, and dinner at eight o'clock, and fruit before you go to bed at about ten o'clock. But in moderation, they should never be combined because when you combine fruit and water together, the calorie content will increase, and your total calories at a given time will increase, which disturbs your balance. and uh, you should now always try to keep your blood sugar at one level throughout the day it should not after a meal it should not go up and then it should not come down suddenly because if you have a large meal it goes up and comes down have meals in moderation always and if you are hungry you can eat four number of times there are people who eat 10 times a day no problem there are people who eat only once a day no problem both are healthy as long as you don't over eat i i have a lot of friends who eat only once a day and i have a lot of friends who eat 10 times a day both are healthy i have been watching them they are quite healthy nothing is happened to them nothing will happen to them because studies have shown that either way you are okay as long as you keep your calorie content within limits don't over eat now the last thing is about water then what about coffee and tea how many times you can drink how much you can drink coffee and tea are not poisons but you know coffee keeps you awake so don't try to take coffee in the evening after your night because coffee keeps most people awake but i have seen people the other contrary they take a cup of hot cup of very strong coffee and go to bed like a cat in the next 5 minutes these are all habits but by and large stimulants should be avoided before sleep stimulants like coffee tea are avoided after midday you take your coffee in the morning coffee in the afternoon but not in the evening or late at night tea is better than coffee in the sense that tea can be is not that stimulant tea contains about 50 mg of caffeine while coffee contains 650 mg of caffeine coffee is a stimulant but tea is better a lot of people say tea is good for health i don't know whether it's true but all that i know is tea is not bad for health neither is coffee bad for health you can drink your coffee and tea in moderation anyway what about alcohol yes alcohol is bad for health if a doctor has told you that a small amount of drinking is good for health he must be enjoying his drink in the evening <laughs> as a matter there's no study which says any alcohol even a drop of alcohol is good for health but there are studies which show that a small amount of alcohol may not be bad for health but that doesn't mean it is good for health it may not be bad but in excess alcohol is very bad for health and alcohol should be avoided completely smoking is very very bad for health 
there's no no two ways about it smoking should be avoided if you want to be healthy and smoking can be associated with so many diseases starting from cancer to common cold even if you are a smoker you you have more frequent, uh, frequent attacks of common cold because your resistance goes down smoking will lower your resistance you get more uh, number number of diseases even minor illnesses major illnesses and smoking is one of the very important causes of cancer smoking is very very bad now sleep how much sleep do you require some people think they require to sleep for 8 hours some people think they require to sleep for 6 hours these are all created by the sleeping in pill industry they make you believe that you require 8 hours sleep and if you don't get 8 hours sleep you run to the doctor and take a pill so don't believe that i have seen people healthy people living only sleeping only for one hour a night there are people who sleep for 8 hours a night both are okay because they are used to that a one hour man cannot sleep for 8 hours a 8 hour man cannot sleep for one hour so you can't say a rule saying that no look look at that man he is sleeping for one hour why do you have to sleep for 8 hours he is sleeping for one hour because he's, that is enough for him i know our prime minister sleeps for 3 hours a day and that is enough for him he works all the other 21 hours non stop and you and i can't do that and there are some people who require about 6 hours sleep like barack obama who was the american president he said he needs 8 hours sleep without which he can't work so he sleeps full 8 hours every night so it's all habit so sleep there's no uh, dose of sleep that you require suppose you don't sleep what happens something happens some people don't sleep you know as as age advances sleep is less and less need for sleep is less so some nights you don't sleep at all but don't have to worry you don't have to roll in bed and curse yourself no just lie down lying down in bed and sleeping both give you enough rest but sleeping will give you refreshment next morning and just to no, no sleep will not give you refreshment in the morning otherwise the rest part of it is the same if you don't sleep just lie down and don't get up and walk unnecessarily because it will keep you awake again so when you don't get sleep just sleep and don't do anything